Hi Pisces, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma, and thank you so much for clicking on this video today. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe and join the Karma Light crew. You guys can also join the Karma Light crew for free on my website, karmalightreadings.com. I do post two monthly readings on a locked page that only members have access to. It's completely free, and I also give you discount codes to readings every month if you're a member. All right, so this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May 2020. This is a general reading. This can uh, relate to you in uh, terms of a personal relationship, friendship, family, business, okay? So we're just looking at the energy overall surrounding you for this month. As I'm saying my prayer, I'll be going back and forth between two decks. If I pause, please know that it's because I am placing my intentions. And then as I finish the prayer, we will lay out and see what we've got. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> Father God, Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May 2020. I ask that this reading provides clarity, guidance, understanding, inspiration, enlightenment, as well as a higher perspective of knowledge of what cycles they may be going through and needing to release at this time. And all that you are and all that you do and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only, Lord. In your name I pray. Amen. All right. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Angels of Light, what's the overall message of guidance that you have? For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, May 2020. Overall message of guidance. What's the energy? Thank you. Psalms 136, 26. Give thanks to the God of heaven, for his steadfast love endures forever. Psalms 137. Hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is plentiful redemption. I feel there's a need right now for you, Pisces, to be deeply connecting with and focusing on your relationship with your creator. Um, instead of focusing on your lack or what you don't have right now, focus on what you do have. Focus on the things that you have to be grateful for and thankful for because it's a, it's a reminder when we're going through a confusing period in our life or um, if we're going through, I feel like a lot of you are, I'm not seeing darkness, but it's gray. So I feel like you guys are in a little bit of a storm right now. I also feel like some of you feel very stuck because I'm seeing myself in a room full of mirrors, not knowing how to get out. Okay. So... I'm feeling like, you know, you could be having a difficult time with what's being reflected back to you in your life and, and possible, possibly learning some things about your inner self that have been quite painful or, or you know, difficult. And um, first of all, know that that's all very normal. That's a lot to do with shadow work. Okay, so bravo to you for if that's what you're going through. But also a way to get out of that um, to help, you know, reconnect with your light and pull yourself out of the darkness is to look around and see the things that you do have. Look at the prayers that have already been answered in your life and be grateful for those. And as you begin to focus on that joy, you will be able to see more clearly why you were in the dark or what this storm was about. And that will help you to come out of that room full of mirrors and to start healing and, and, and being pulled out of the darkness, okay? So let's see what we have for you here. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Angels of Light, what messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May 2020? <clears throat> what messages do we have for Pisces? May. All right. For May 2020, what do we have? Bottom of the deck. 
Okay, Four of Swords. So you're going through a period of uh, quietness, okay? There could be a possible separation between you and somebody or a break, but this is because there's a need for you to rest. There's a need for you to be in deep thought, right? Um, these are your thoughts, your illusions, your fears and anxieties that are facing down on you and you're needing to get it straight. You're needing to clear these out, okay? So this is a time of deep reflection, okay? Three of Swords. So it's over something that's caused you some pain or there's confusion. Again, focusing on the lack of, and you're needing to shift that focus. You're wanting clarity on a situation where either you or the other person initially ghosted the situation, like it ended and you guys didn't communicate for a while. And you're wanting clarity on this situation because I feel that you were very happy um, with this person, okay? I feel that this person brought you a lot of happiness. We have Virgo and Scorpio energy um, on the table. So for some of you, you may either have already started this conversation or been in communication with this person, okay? Or it's coming into you this month. Because I'm seeing here the Queen of Swords, okay? A little bit distant, a little bit standoffish because you're seeking clarity on something. Because you were left in the dark, because there was a lack of communication. Or I'm also getting that maybe there was a situation that was hurtful. Some um, very sharp swords here with the Five of Swords, okay? So hurtful things were said which caused you guys to separate. And now there's... A need for communication and wanting to clarify some things and to really I, I feel that this is more of like getting everything out in the open speaking a lot of truth clearing the air of any you know misguided judgments or illusions because this person or this situation brings you a lot of happiness this was a good situation okay I feel at one point obviously now there's a separation there's things to be to be worked on um, in the recent past, I have the Four of Cups. So there's been a lot of deep reflection and contemplation over this particular situation. The situation that happened in the past, okay, and unable to see how you can start a new beginning. Because you're so focused on what has been, what you're missing, you're not focused on what you have. Tell me about this Four of Cups, please. Yeah, so you're like having, you're, you're fighting with yourself. You're fighting with yourself, Pisces. This may be something that you learn uh, about yourself. Is that a lot of what's going on is it, it, it has been created um, by you, right? And, and, and please, this may be a trigger warning. I'm just the messenger, so forgive me. But I'm feeling that for some of you doing a deep soul reflection, you may learn some things that you did to contribute to the situation you're in that you may not have noticed before okay also i'm seeing that there's a lot of thought about the past and what happened between you and this particular person okay um you guys may have struggled to see eye to eye okay very different views um but arguing over petty things that just didn't in the long run and in a higher perspective just didn't make sense I feel that you guys were arguing just for the sake of arguing at one point, okay? Or that's what it felt like. The energy that's surrounding you now or coming into you now is the seven of wands. So it's a very defensive energy, feeling like there could be possible disagreements or arguments coming in, okay? Feeling the need to um, defend oneself or one's opinion, okay? Tell me about this seven of wands, please. The truth, okay, so that's what this is. I feel that it's more to, not so much defending oneself, but more like the truth has to come out, right? This is like the basis of this. Um, and somebody really standing their ground firmly in what they believe in saying, hey, this is, you know, how it is or how it was. And I'm seeing it 
take you in a positive direction forward because the sun is all about liberating. So I do feel this is somebody really speaking their truth, okay? Connecting with their truth, moving forward in a positive direction because things that were hidden are now coming to light, okay? So that this that dark cloud, okay? That gray cloud that's over you right now will be leaving. We have Scorpio energy in the future, so death. So something ends for a new beginning, right? There's a transition taking place. Let's see what kind. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Angels of Light. Why is the death card here, please, for future? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So this is regarding the separation, okay? There's a movement away. Somebody could have actually physically moved as well, okay? Um, so there is going to be an ending to something. I feel, though, that there's also a coming back towards each other for some type of clarity regarding a situation that felt manipulative or dishonest. You also have the Empress. So this is a new beginning. So where you guys ended it and separated, I feel you guys are coming back together. So there may be travel to see one another, um, okay, but I'm also feeling like this is a, co a communication wise, not just in person. So uh, somebody calling or texting as well. I have your energy Pisces as the wheel of fortune. You are in the middle of healing and, and releasing a karmic cycle. Okay. You're, you're in the middle of healing a cycle. So there's going to be a need for patience here, Spirit is saying, because they're working with you. Things are moving forward for you. No matter what it looks like on the outside, it's because you're in the middle of a lesson. Okay? Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune for Pisces currently. Yeah. Yeah. You're in the middle of a lesson, okay? This could have to do with an offer that you want to give or that you receive in regards to love, a new beginning, okay? Somebody that may be younger than you or you're younger than them, but there's a younger emotional energy here. Yeah, you're in the middle of a lesson about being scorned in love. There's a lesson here. That's all Spirit is going to tell me, but this is you are learning and releasing cycles of feeling scorned in love, feeling like you were used and abused. So there's a lesson in that situation. I feel like it's somehow tied into this as well. You're healing from that cycle. You're moving away from this type of energy. Somebody has a very skewed perception of love because of what they've been through, okay? Spirit is telling me there's somebody that needs to go back to their childhood and address their views on love and relationships or what it means to be loved. They were loved in a very um, harsh, hurtful manner, manipulative manner. And that that's the cycle that they're working through here. Okay? That's the cycle they're working through. That could be you, Pisces. This is in your position. So, But that's a very specific message. So... I don't know if that'll be for everybody. All right, four of wands. So you have the outside energy of stability, celebration, okay? So the other person and the outside influence is very positive. They're wanting to move forward in a positive direction. They're wanting stability. They're wanting celebration with you. This is also home life, building a home a family together, right? Tell me about this four of wands. Temperance, but they had me pull two by accident and I, I don't believe in accidents. So um, they want to heal with you. Uh, they're looking at a new beginning. So this is somebody from your past, definitely. Even with this situation, I feel that you guys will be communicating. There's a lot of healing and love that needs to take place there's a lot of love in this connection we have the ten of cups as well with temperance with the two of cups soulmates and the ace of cups so a lot of love deep love in this connection i feel that this is a different type of connection than you've ever had okay um 
there's a need to stay very balanced or I feel you two balance each other out, okay? Virgo energy here. So there's a lot. It's funny because I feel like this situation is very important to you. And I feel, Pisces, that you've been doing a lot of spiritual work, a lot of healing and growing. And you're, that, that makes you so excited about what the future holds, right? Um, but I'm also feeling that there's a fear of has the other person done their work as well? Has the other person done what, what was needed? Or there's still some type of fear that there's going to be... Um, separation isolation lack of communication okay because I, I feel that that's one of the biggest issues in this connection is very poor communication why is the hermit in here yeah this is a soulmate this is somebody that you've known for a very long time there's a lot of deep healing that's taking place between the two of you spiritual healing Okay, I feel that you are the water sign dating an earth sign, a large amount of you. Okay, you could also be de dealing with a Leo, but um, or or Sagittarius, but I definitely am feeling like there's some earth here because I feel like you guys balance each other out very grounded, but also a very spiritual connection, a lot of deep thinking, reminiscing. I feel that you guys mirror each other very much, and so whatever you're healing, know that the other one is healing that as well. The outcome of this is the three of wands. So I'm looking out to the future, planning the next step, the next move together. What, which direction are we going in? So let's see. Holy Spirit, Spirit guides, angels of light. Why is the three of wands here? Balance. How can we balance our future together? How can we create a future together there's messages as well okay messages about moving forward messages about what is best be careful that you don't let things get too rocky i feel like you really need to focus on balancing and not bringing too much of the past in if you're healing you're healing right and that means leaving some of the past behind okay spirit is pulling their energy back thank you so much pisces um, for tuning in. If you haven't already, please make sure that you sign up on CarmeliteReadings.com so that you can have access to the readings, um, tw two readings a month. And I'll see you guys soon.